Ask a Scientist Show, episode 1.8. Dear Mike, to you as a scientist, what is the single best bit of evidence that shows that humans evolved from primates? And this is from Sarah M in somewhere called Provo, Utah, USA. Well, there's a large range of evidence to support human evolution and evolution in general. So this includes uh, comparing the structure of existing organisms to other living organisms, uh, looking at uh, fossils and comparing those fossils, comparing the structure of those fossils to other fossils and existing organisms and looking at the location of fossils within geological term like when did when did they exist you can also look at what happens during organism development and look for common patterns in the developmental process the other thing you may have noticed is uh, politicians that look and behave like other non-human primates However, to me, the strongest evidence for human evolution is the similarity between DNA sequences between humans and other primates. In human evolution, humans are classified as primates and our nearest cousin is the chimpanzee. Bubbles! I'm going to use a mouse as a more distant relative as well. So changes in DNA sequence are the actual underlying mechanism of evolution. So what you'd expect to see is that humans would have very similar DNA sequences to a close relative like a chimpanzee and less similar DNA sequences to a more distant relative, such as a mouse. I'm going to show you some actual DNA codes, so hold on to your chairs, clear your cookies, stop listening to your 90s Pearl Jam albums, hide your banana holding creationists, and pretend you're not on the Kansas school board anymore. To show you the actual code, I've picked out one gene. So when people think of genetics, they think of uh, eye color due to high school textbook propaganda. So I've dug out one gene that's involved in determining eye color. So the gene I've picked is called OCA2 and it's involved in melanin production. I don't want to get into the function of this because that's a, that's a different story. What I'm showing here are the sequences from the central part of the gene that creates the protein. On the left is the human sequence and on the right is the chimpanzee sequence. For the people watching in HD with a large screen, you can tell that the sequences are exactly the same length and almost exactly the same. I'll just zoom in for the people watching in low resolution. Not that there's anything wrong with that. A better way to show this is to line the two sequences up side by side. And I'll just circle the bits that don't match. There are very few differences and if you do the mathematics it works out to be 99.1% matching. So what happens when you compare sequences from humans to mice? As a more distantly related organism, you'd expect that there's a lot more generations between humans and mice than there is between humans and chimpanzees. So therefore, we'd expect uh, to see more changes in the sequence between humans and mice compared to humans and chimpanzees. In this example, I've got the human sequence on the left and the mouse sequence on the right. For the high definition punters, you'll be able to see that the human sequence is slightly longer. Maybe size does matter. If I line the two sequences up, you can see that the uh, top two lines don't match. However, most of the sequence still matches, and if you do the mathematics, it works out to be 74.8% matching. So for the OCA2 gene, you get exactly what you'd expect from evolution. You get highly similar sequences in related organisms, such as humans versus chimpanzees, and less similar sequences in distantly related organisms, such as humans versus mice. So this is just for one specific gene. However, what about other genes? So one gene that people would probably already know and hopefully love is the gene that creates insulin. So let's do the exact same thing and take the sequence for human insulin and compare that to sequences from chimpanzees and mice. And let's add another primate as lemurs and another non-primate, guinea pigs, to the mix. So again, what you see is almost perfectly matching sequences between humans and chimpanzees with a 98% match. There's less similarity in the lemur, which is a distantly related primate, and the least amount of similarity is between humans and the two non-primates, which are the mice and the guinea pigs. If you put the DNA sequences on the tree again, you can see that the sequence similarity matches exactly what you'd expect from evolution. 
Humans share more DNA sequence similarity with primates than other organisms, and in the case of chimpanzees we share almost perfectly matching DNA sequences. This is pretty much the strongest evidence for human evolution from primates. So with the presentation this has been a little bit Al gore -ish. So let's do an experiment and test this out. So for the experiment you'll need a chimpanzee colony. You'll also need a way of increasing the genetic changes to the germ cells. That's the gonads. So the best way to do this would be to use radioactive underpants. Some easy to find sources of radiation would include bananas with slightly radioactive potassium. That's probably a bad idea for obvious reasons. Maybe try radioactive mineral sand if you can find that in your local area. You'll also need a 1980s pop star who would enjoy breeding chimpanzees. Chimpanzees who wear radioactive underwear. 